Tales of Vigilus. The Last Day. Indistinguishable curses. How do you work this curse damned end of everything and just want to? Is that so much to ask? There, there. All right, I'm. It's all right. Something that may be a sob quickly choked off. My name is Shaven Thale. I'm. I'm a manufactorium logisticus adept, third class in the forge endurance, on uh, Nemdegast. If you find the servo skull, if you access the recording, I'm on Nemdegast. But well, what am I doing? Why am I even bothering? I suppose because I have to believe that something will come after this. That all our suffering isn't the end of everything. The Emperor has a purpose for all of us, doesn't he? Of course he does. Of course he does. Background distortion. Something that might be screams. Something else that is very definitely an explosion. Oh, Emperor, please. You can hear it, can't you? The beginning of the end. I am recording this so somebody one day may know that we stayed loyal. We fought the rising tide, the cults, the doomsayers, and the things that they conjured up to hunt us. Do you hear this clearly? Whoever you are, do you understand? We stayed loyal till the very end. More distortion. Closer. Another sound more difficult to pin down. A background hum and whine that seems almost to become vocal in nature. Several movements of muffled rustling and thumping that indicate movement. <laughs> Soon. There won't be anywhere. Anywhere safe. No throne. Come on. Just this nightmare began, Emperor, just weeks ago. It feels like lifetimes, but there it is. Weeks. Side reel. First there were the dreams, and the mutterings in the administrative sanctums, then the halls of signatories. A handful of adepts stopped showing up with their shifts, just one here, one there. But it got after a while that you noticed. We didn't say anything, of course. Not during duty, I was... The adept second class were always prowling the aisles, and nobody wanted their ration dockets stripped. Going on the processionals, before and after shift, in the queues for nutrient packs, people whispered. How about nightmares? Nightmares they kept having of our world falling into shadow, of flames consuming the skies, of the hungry things with the two white smiles that hunted them through the dreams. The disappearances got worse. Then came the proclamation. Martial law. That was the doing of the cults the first time they tried to rise up. Heretic filth. Got what they deserved. In Sostum. In the forge, indomitable. Even here in endurance, they got what they deserved. But still, you got to wondering how could heretic cults have flourished at all? What had prompted them all to rise the way they did? All at once. And so the proclamation, curfews, bans on gatherings, numbering more than three people outside of places of toil and labour. <laughs> Unenforceable, of course, but they tried. Things got bloody, and still more people were turning up missing every day. I got thrown, what was that? Sounds of fast, shallow breathing. A slight vocalisation that may be a whimper. The murmuring and whispering grows louder. Individual words are almost legible. Another sound joins the background distortion, a low rumble that slowly builds in volume. <laughs> I think they've gone. Those things are everywhere now. I won't name them. The preacher said to, to name these things is to attract their attention and give them power. <laughs> it hardly matters now, I suppose. But blessed Emperor, I do not want to die. I don't. Why is this happening to... Those, all right, all right, 
before the storm front reaches me. The rumble is growing louder in the background, more screaming. The dull and now unmistakable thump of explosions, gunfire, repeated cracks that may be lightning strikes. It was when the skies went sour, that's when the tech magi and the arbiters lost control. They issued edicts, banning citizens from looking skywards on pain of immediate execution. But how could you not? How could you not see? Waves of fire. Clouds transforming into screaming faces. The shadows went back then. Dangerous. People who walked in the dark didn't come out again. Word spread. Thrown only knows from where. The planet travelled right into the teeth of a warp storm. Oh, well, yeah, the details differed. The rumble increases with sudden violence. The recording becomes distorted. Details differed. We'd sinned too much as a people. The Emperor had forsaken his realm. Terror had been destroyed. The galaxy was tearing in two. Still don't know why this is happening even now at the end, but it is happening. Order broke down entirely after that. Militars burning heretics in the streets. Ships shot down as they tried to flee. Cults rose up again, only this time utter carnage. The Tech Magi shut themselves in their sanctums and slew. Who attempted to seek their wisdom or their aid? The rumble is ferocious now. Sound distortion becoming ever more pronounced. The whine and moan has become a chorus of voices, chanting, gibbering, wailing and howling in a language painful to hear. Screams and explosions mingle, and the lightning crack sound comes again and again. No, oh, Emperor, face horrors of the darkest sort, and preserve your humble servant. Oh, throne, the shrine is coming apart. Nowhere is safe from the storm. It is sweeping across our world. It is devouring us. Demons. It does not matter. Name them. Demons ride upon the storm's bloody winds and to our damnation. If you hear this, know that. We fought until we remained loyal. We remained. Recording ends. Servo Skull Machine Spirit Diagnostics warn of potential spiritual corruption. Power Cell shuts down.